Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's I your host Plus37 and welcome to a little tutorial video on the video game Rome Total War. Oh my god, this game's amazing. But <laughs> first I have to say a few things, alright? Um, this bug fixer mod being shown on the screen right now, pretty great. I, I really like the uh, little changes that it made throughout my campaign so far, so I highly recommend this. In fact, if you want to <laughs> put this mod in before you make any of the changes that I, that I talk about today, you really should. This mod has a lot going for it, and I hope it still gets updated into the future. Alright, with that being said, let's get into our first tutorial. Okay, first off, unlocking all of the factions. If you've never played this game before, and you kind of want to know how all the other people have all the factions unlocked, I'm going to show you that right now. If you're an experienced player and you already know how to do this, um, please, please skip forward in the video until my next point. Okay, welcome to my game folder. My game folder has a bunch of mods in it, but that's not really why we're here, of course. So, you're going to need to find your game folder. Your game folder could mean a lot of things, but usually it's going to be somewhere around the Steam Apps Common section of your computer. Okay, with a bit of checking, it is in your location of Windows C, so the main your computer, Program Files x86, you scroll down until you see Steam, you scroll down again until you, say, until you see Steam Apps, You'll scroll, and actually, common should be on top, so. And this is where probably where your game is located. Alright, cool. Back to my game here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go up to your search bar, right? And you're going to type in description.strat. It will then search for description.strat.txt. Now, I have a lot of them because I have a bunch of mods and each one will have its own, but if you just hover over it, it should be in your just data, world, maps, campaign, imperial campaign. This one right here. This is the one you're going to want. All right. So it's going to be, this stuff might be different for you, but it says Rome Total War Gold. And then it's going to say data, world, maps, campaign, imperial campaign. So this is um, all of the factions that will show up in the imperial campaign. All right, so here is the thing itself. Usually it's only gonna have the campaign playable at the front of this, the top of the screen here. So we're gonna show these three. And then it says end unlockable, which will have a few other ones of these. But basically I've taken all of the non-playables, except for the Roman Senate because their game is extremely bugged. So yours will look a lot different, but basically all you gotta do is make sure all of the names like this are lined up as shown here, and it should show up in your game like you just saw in my game. So hopefully that helps you there and we can move on to our next point. Have you ever noticed, if you're an experienced player, have you ever noticed that the Brutii out of the Roman factions have by far the best religions in their campaigns? The end game temples for Juno and Mercury, they both represent the other parts of that religion. What if I told you you could be the Julii or the Scipii and be able to build the top tiers of the other religious buildings in your empire. Well, turns out it's possible. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go back up to your search bar here. You're going to want to type in export description buildings.txt. Okay, this one should just be located in your data folder of Rome Total War. Cool. So, here's the full screen version of it right here. What you're going to want to do is then type in Control F to bring up the Find menu on your Windows computer and put in the word Temple. I, I've already, you know, tested this out for this video. But it will then take you to the nearest temple. Now, none of these have Romans in them, but you can do it for the other factions as well. So, um, you're going to have to, like, go pretty far down here. I have a double-click mouse, so we can just kind of, you know... <laughs> Scroll down until we see the first Roman faction. So usually, Temple of Fertility, I believe that would be Ceres in the uh, Julii religion, but it could also be the Egyptian god of something, something, something. I'm not really sure how to pronounce the Egyptian gods. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I've put in any of the Roman religions with the other Roman factions names. So it will be Romans underscore Julii with a comma. And you gotta have a comma after it. It's just how the game reads it. So, like, when the game grabs, like, the information to display on screen, it brings it from this text file here. And this allows you to use the other religions in the game. Um, for instance, I've changed all of the Greek ones as well. So, 
Anything that would be Greek and Roman have all of the names as listed here in the Temple of Fun, which is probably like Bacchus or like Jupiter or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> Temple of Fun. It just, as, as long as you see it. Also, you have to do it for every single um, size of the temple in question. So even if the religion, um, for example, like it's a barbarian religion, you probably can't go past tier three because that's just how the barbarian ones work. But for any of the, like, the Greeks and the Romans, like, the awesome temple can be built by these people. And <laughs> you have to type it in again each time. So if you, if you put in Seleucid here, you have to put in Seleucid here, here, and up here for all of the, you know, needed buildings. So I believe that kind of narrows it down. It, it's just a long, um, ongoing process to change all the religions, which is why you should only do it once and then save the, this text file like in a different location, like as a copy, and just put it back into your game later because it will save you a bunch of time if you only like to, you know, mod your game just a little bit. Okay. Also, it says please, please do not modify by hand. So obviously, if you break your own game, that's on you. I, I can't, I can't really uh, <laughs> help you with that. Uh, yeah. Best of luck to you at that. And finally, we have a very similar situation. What if I told you that you should be able to build highways as a Greek faction or the Carthaginians or the Egyptians? Maybe they want to build highways, right? Because right now they can only build paved roads. Well, maybe saving some extra time and being able to do that kind of stuff would be kind of nice, right? Well, I happen to have your answer to that as well. Linked in the description down below, I have a forum post listed by our good friend, this guy. Um, he has basically allowed us to put the highways into our own campaign. Now, I didn't actually copy this text file because he decided to like double the cost of what it takes to make a highway, but that's fine. Uh, there's th This is the resource here if you want to use it, but he also added the Greek description of the highways, basically saying that um, he added some Macedonian flavor to the description. Scrolling up, you'll notice that the er erratic descriptions of the factions normally do not get them. So yeah, he has, a, he has his own version of it. So you can copy this text here and place it into your game, which I have, and I will show off in a minute. It's actually listed under the export description buildings.txt again. So that's very convenient as well. So in the exact same text file we were just in, and if you type in highways requires factions, I've added, other than the Romans, I've added the Greek, Egyptian, and Carthaginian factions to the list with the ability to, to make their own roads. <laughs> then, once you have that file saved, we need to go into another file. So this is the usual, the default, um, like, cost to build roads is just 2400 So he, he upped his price in his description on his website here with 48 uh, 4800 dang all right so anyway there's that now we need to go to export buildings.txt okay so in export buildings.txt i just typed in highways until i saw the big highways marker on the on the left side of the screen here um i've highly edited this so i've copied and pasted the entire guy's text file into the thing here so it's a lot of text of course and i've also copied it again with the uh, ability to say it's just Greek highways, but I added it to the Egyptians as well, just because it kind of made sense that in this time period, at least, the Egyptians would technically be very Hellenic and Greek in culture, even though in game they're still Bronze Age, Age Egypt. So other than that, it's kind of its own thing. But down here, it shows the, you know, the Romans version of it all. So it's very short. So you could go at length about how intense the uh, the Greek highways are compared to Rome's themselves. So, you know, say what you will about Rome. But, yeah, it's just kind of its own thing. But uh, I've added the ability to, um, I added some fake lore to the Carthaginians as well. In the days of the Punic Wars, Carthage borrowed the idea of highways from the Romans as an effort to compete against them in trade. Not only in, at, at sea, but also by land. Or, but now also by land. So, <laughs> I also included the copied Roman highways to the description of the name. So, it's just kind of a fun little thing. But now we can go into a game and see what it looks like as a Greek faction to have your own highways. 
Okay, so here we are in my slow acid campaign. Wow, uh, chill out there. <laughs> we now have the wonderful Antioch and all this cool stuff here, but <laughs> if you haven't noticed, these are highways. Like, the whole empire now has a bunch of highways going across. Sorry, Hatcher, you still have paved roads. But, yeah, it's nice to see highways this far east, because usually you're only stuck seeing whatever high highways you build as the Romans. So it's, it's a very different sort of feel to it, actually. Um, the ability to have highways stretching across your empire here. Also, imagine having highways to just dirt roads. Poor guys over in Ansira. But basically, yeah, um, I was able to play as the Seleucids and um, absolutely wreck the Egyptians really early on. And the highways just made transporting troops a lot faster in the late game. And it actually allowed me to somewhat, you know, have some feel against the, the Roman broody eye over here. I, I've basically just been taking my time. I haven't been trying to rush because usually people have like their whole campaign maps done by now. Everyone's just flying super fast in Rome Total War, but no. I, uh, I took my time and just kind of played a very casual game here, and yeah, it's been, it's been very fun. So sorry, Hatra, you're, I know you're getting like the brunt of the whole force here, but I'm killing your Temple of Artemis that I built you. So, there's Ares, Demeter, which is like the, the equivalent of Bacchus, Hephaestus, Dionysius, oh wait, uh, maybe Dionysius is the one that would like to drink, yeah, God of Wine's here, so I don't know what you are supposed to be. Goddess of Fertility. Oh, my bad. Um, sorry, Demeter. That's Aphrodite. Um, Zeus, Asclepius, Artemis, Athena, Aphrodite again. I, I don't really know what... Demeter, what are you actually used for? Ah, your food production. I see. Okay. And we have a, we have a Hermes, same as the Mercury for Romans, and Nike. Now, for some reason... I uh, mistakenly uh, put in Ares twice in my text file. So now there's just Ares here and Ares up here. So the difference between this Ares up here and the Ares at the bottom is that this Ares is Nike but rebranded. So I don't really know what that's supposed to mean, but if you're going to use any Ares, use the bottom Ares because you, you edited all your text files. So that's just a little bug that I encountered when I was editing it. That's why it says you shouldn't edit them by hand. I'm only human, but I just always recommend that this one is the better one for Ares. Because you can see it in the Pantheons here. Because this is the first one because it's Ares. Troops train morale boost. Yeah, morale boost would be nice. But I'd rather have the experience because my generals make up for the morale. So experience plus three, that's way better than a bunch of morale. Although never breaking would be kind of nice. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, with it, what you will. But there's two versions of Ares, and obviously, I showed you earlier that I have all the factions unlocked because I'm playing as the Slayers right now, and I've never defeated them in a Roman campaign yet. I can't even get to them when I play as Rome, to be honest. So hopefully, this this video helped you out a bit. I know it's kind of long, but I, yeah, I'm very very proud of my, myself with uh, figuring all this out and had to compile all this stuff together for you. So hopefully, this helped you. If you have any questions. Leave them in the comment section below. I do appreciate your feedback. And if you want any more of these, I can sure make a few more for Rome Total War. It's one of my favorite games of all time. I can even tell you the story about how I uh, really got into this game. But with that being said, thank you very much for watching. It has been I, your host, Splice37, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.